This is Twit. So iOS 8.1 went live on Monday. Pretty easy install for me. Took me, I don't know, 20 minutes on my iPhone 6 Plus here. By the way, we're getting along really well these days. I'm glad I went big. Who would have thunk it? Now, you might be holding off on iOS 8.1 yourself because sometimes iOS updates end up having bugs and even bricking phones. Remember the old iOS 8.0.1 update of infamy that killed people's cellular connections and Touch ID? That's not really anything anybody wants. So if you haven't updated yet, you're probably smarter than me, but I can't help myself. So iOS 8 is only about a month old. What's already new in iOS 8.1? Bunch of cool stuff, it turns out. I thought I'd highlight a few of my favorites over the next few weeks, but today it's all about texting. I love texting. If you and a friend both have iMessage, you know that you can talk back and forth, not just on your iPhone or your iPad, but also your Mac, right? It's all messages, iMessage, it's, it's all the same thing. Well, a new feature in iOS 8.1 lets you get text messages from non-iPhone people like Android friends via SMS, or people who just have iMessage uh, turned off and are using the SMS protocol, it's tied to your phone number on your Mac or other iOS device as well. And then you can write back on your Mac or other iOS device that isn't your iPhone. So here's how it works. You go to settings, you scroll down to messages, you tap text message forwarding, and then you turn on whatever devices, they're also connected to your iCloud account, so that's what'll show up. If you want access on those devices to send and receive messages, easy as that. 